Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to talk about this one thing that I guess I really should talk about. Now, you know, when you're in a conversation with somebody, or they started one or you started one, and mostly, usually, when they started one, then they usually ask you what your opinion or what your take on a whole situation was. Now, it could be anything, so you can fill in the blank, whatever that is. Some people want your take or your opinion on the situation. You give your take or your opinion, it's not the one they were looking for. So, like, it goes something like this. Well, you know that I fought John Cena twice. You know, at WrestleMania 28 and WrestleMania 29. And that I beat him at WrestleMania 28 and I lost in WrestleMania 29. And then a lot of people were giving, a lot of people were claiming, oh, that John Cena buried me. And that wasn't the case. No, John Cena put me over at WrestleMania 28. And I redid, redid the favor and put him over at WrestleMania 29. Yeah, Rock, you did put him over. You did. The Rock, did, uh, John Cena did put you over at WrestleMania 28. A lot of people were surprised that that would have happened. And then a lot of people were surprised at WrestleMania 29 that you would put over John Cena. Everybody thought it was going to be you beating him two day, two, you know, going to be beating him two years in a row. And what I mean to say is that some people might be okay with the opinion. Others might not be so okay with the opinion. But it depends on how you look at it. Okay, a lot of people out there claim, oh, I'm killing wrestling, I'm costing the company ratings and revenue, but that ain't true, that I can't wrestle, but we all know that I can wrestle pretty well, that I can do some really good promos, and I have brought in a lot of revenue into the company, that I've sold merchandise and tickets, and that I've kept the ratings from flipping even lower than they were flipping towards the end of the Attitude Era and going into the Rufus Aggression Era and keeping the ratings at where they're at during the modern era and the you know the reality era and there's a lot of you know a lot of people out there who don't like me and mostly they're a small group of people yeah John there's a lot of there a lot of wrestling fans do like you but then there's a small percentage of these wrestling fans in the internet wrestling community who think they speak for every, think they speak for all wrestling fans, regardless of they be on social media or upload videos sharing websites. But that's not true. Yeah, I definitely know it's not true. And uh, you work very hard to get to where you're at. You're dependable. You're hardworking. And I know that you put over a lot of people: The Rock, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, Randy Orton. Um, and that uh, you don't have any say in who you beat and who you win and stuff. Yeah, I know. And I know you're you're a good wrestler. Yeah, I know that too. Now the point I mean about is that some people, most likely The Rock and John Cena wouldn't be this way, but there are some people out there who if you ask for your take or your opinion on something, they might get upset and say that's not what they wanted to hear. Okay. Now, luckily John Cena and The Rock, that's what they wanted to, that's what they wanted me to tell them and they were okay with what I related back to them. Some people aren't. Some people will get into an argument or a conversation or a debate or whatever and then when they ask you for your opinion you take and you give it, they don't necessarily like it. You know. So yeah, that's about it. I'm Jordan. I'll see you later.